skill builder. Fractions. Welcome, I am Patsy the chef at Perfect Cuisine. I am here today to talk to you about fractions. Fractions represent parts of a whole. This circle here takes two parts to make a whole. It is written as two over two. These parts are called halves. Count how many parts this circle has. If you counted four, you are correct. These parts are called fourths. It takes four fourths to make the whole. This circle is split into eight parts. These parts are called eighths. Here are my kittens. They wanted to learn a little about fractions as well. Their task was to split a rectangle into fourths or four equal parts. Here is my and mama. Oh, furball you gave it a good try, but you don't have enough parts. There should be four equal parts and your rectangle only has two equal parts. Princess, let's see yours. Mine is beautiful. Yes, it is beautiful and has four parts, but they are not equal. When creating fractions, all the parts must be equal. Pearl, let's see yours for equal parts. Great job. Now go clean up. I just got two orders in for the fish tart. The first order asks for the tart to be split into four pieces. The second order asks for the tart to be split in half. Mama, I want the one with the bigger pieces. I am hungry. Well, this is going to our customers. But if I were to let you have the bigger piece, it would be from the fish tart split in half. The tart only needed to be split into two pieces. Where this tart needed to be split in four. Oh no. My kittens got into the cakes I baked this morning. We need to figure out how many pieces are left. I drew a model of the cake that is left. There are eight pieces in each cake. The white spaces represent what the kittens ate. There is one whole cake left and five out eight of the last cake. This means I have one and five eighths of the cake left. Well, I better get the kittens to the sitter so I can get some work done here. Thanks for joining us.